All right, the last lesson what you did was you placed the light environment up, which is going to light the, the exterior of this level. Uh, and that's fine. You can just function just with that. But we're going to take a couple extra little steps to, to really make the, the, the light focus in this outdoor area really kind of snap and function and work well. There's a couple quick things you need to do to dress it up. The first thing we're going to do is place an actual sun in the sky. With this light environment, it just lights the skybox. And so your buildings are suddenly lit, and your exteriors are lit, and that's fine. But when you look up in the sky, you don't see a sun, and that can be uh, kind of break a player from kind of that suspension of, uh, of unreality. And so what we're going to do is actually place a, a, a sun in the sky. Now, this sun doesn't produce any light. It just, uh, you look up, and hey, there's a sun in the sky. This is an entity, so go to the Entity tool, click it. And then from the entity drop down, go up to environment sun. And then just go ahead and place this bad boy. And if we look at it, it's just a big red box, but up in the sky when the game is, is compiled and running, you'll see a sun sitting up there. Now this is fine and it gives us that function of the sun being in the sky, but we've got to get something for it to target at. So let's go ahead to the the back part of the level, and we're going to place a target. And this is just an info target. So go into the back, dropping down, scroll down to info, target, and this is going to be a target for the sun. So just go ahead and click on the map, place it, select it, and now we need to name it. And just, we'll name it, uh, oh gosh, uh, Target, oops, let's take the cap block off. Target, 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 underscore, sun. And then hit apply. Now we've just named this target so that we can acquire it when we go back and reset the properties of the sun that we put in. So going up to that sun, hit your selection tool select it, and now you see that you have the environment sun that's in place. There's a couple things we need to do. One of them is let's turn off, make sure the use angles is turned off. But the second thing we need to do is set the viewer entity. So click the viewer entity window, go to the drop down menu, and then you see your target that you created. So your target for the sun. Click that, hit apply, and now you have a functioning sun that will create shadows. So as we add to this level, you're going to start seeing shadows be created, especially if we extend some of the overhangs and things like that. And so this is going to make it a much more dynamic map. All right. Thank you.